Hi everyone, this is Marty with Pezzadoodle Designs and I have a video today sponsored by favecrafts.com and this is going to show you a simple way to use micro beads to embellish some of your paper craft items, cards, or scrapbook pages and in this case I am embellishing a picture that will go on a scrapbook page. I have double-sided sticky tape I prefer the Su Quang brand. You can get it as score tape. Um, it's very sticky and the nice thing about it is that you can just tear a piece off. You don't need scissors. So that's really handy to me. I also have a tray to catch stuff in. Um, you can see I have some, some other stuff in the bottom but it's old, it's dry, it doesn't affect how the tray works. My picture and these are micro beads and some ultra fine glitter to match. So I have some white gold as well as some clear micro beads. I've mixed them a bit and I have some in here. This is the lid to one of the jars because I've done several pictures before I did this one. So I'll use those up. But the first thing you want to do is put your adhesive on and in this case I'm using the sticky tape because it's a nice straight line and that's what I want right here on the bottom of my photo. So I'm just going to put it on, tear it off, and to make sure that it's stuck on there well. Now I'll peel the paper backing off. You'll notice I have a little extra sticking out over each end. I'm going to put those to the back so that it does not interfere with my nice straight crisp line. And then you just sprinkle on the beads. Now these beads are in baby food containers. They're a super handy way to do this, especially if you don't have a tray. But you can just take your item and add just a tiny bit of the white gold at first. Sprinkle it over and it will fall right back into your tray. Now because I've done several of these and I have this excess, I'm going to use the extra up one here and I'm just going to sprinkle them on. I sprinkle them on pretty thick because I want to get good coverage. So I'm sprinkling them along that score tape line. Then I sort of rub them around with my finger, make sure that I've got as many beads in there as I can get. Tap them off and you have a perfectly straight even line of micro beads. Now I always like to finish off with a little ultra fine glitter because there could be a little bit of sticky adhesive here and there in between the beads so this will stick to it and I'm tapping it off into the other lid so that I can put it back in the container and there you have a nice line you can see how straight and even that line is because I used that nice straight even score tape much easier than glue and it's dry immediately. You don't have to wait for it to dry. Now if you scrape these with your fingernail, yes, they will come off. But for the most part, most people aren't going to be doing that and so it sticks very well. And we're going to do some little micro beaded die cuts. So let me just show you real quick. So if you can see in the light all those little micro beads and this is a little snowflake it'll go on a scrapbook layout that I'm working on and what you'll need is some score tape and I have this nice thick um, wide score tape, some plain card cardstock, just blank white micro beads and any sort of a die, these are spellbinders dies, you can use Sizzix um, any of the other ones since the score tape is not very thick, it's easy to cut through. This, this score tape is nice and thin. Some of the other types like the red line 
type tape or the type that's sold by Ranger with the pink plastic background or backing does not work as well because the dies don't cut through. So then you would die cut just like a regular piece of paper. Keep your backing on. So I'll run these through my cuddle bug and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so I've cut out three little snowflake shapes. They just pop right out. Pop them out of your die if they've stuck. So here we have one. It's still got the backing on it from the double-sided sticky tape. So we will peel that off and you'll be left with a cardstock die cut but it's completely sticky. So we'll get our microbeads. These are in baby food jars or I guess they're not jars, baby food containers which is really nice. Just take this little spoon and spoon them on right over the container. And then this one I'm going to cover the rest so I'm just going to dump him in there smush them around a little bit. Works really well for glitter too. And now he is completely beaded. So you just do that with your other ones, as many or as few as you need. And you can use, like I said, this will work with the microbeads, glitter, flocking, any sort of flocking, um, gala glitz from Art Institute Glitter, lots of different things but it's a great way to make a fully adhesive covered die cut. So I hope you found that useful and I hope you get out those microbeads we all had to have and use them and check out favecrafts.com as well if you haven't already and subscribe to their channel on YouTube. Thanks so much.